What's up guys, Louis Duran here again. Today I'm going to do another video. Um, this is a top list. Um, this is actually my top six favorite NECA Godzilla figures. Um, I was supposed to do a top five favorite NECA Godzilla figures, but I didn't have the motivation to do that video at all. <laughs> I don't know why. But now I am. Since the NECA Godzilla 1954 is already out, I figured why not do my list of my favorites. Yeah, let's get started. Coming in at number 6 is the NECA Godzilla 1984, or as people call it, 1985. Um, the only good thing about this figure is probably the face, because the face, it's it's pretty decent. Uh, my problems with is that the like look at those spines. The spines are okay. They're not they're um, they're sculpted really well. I can see the 84 spines here, but they're just way too thin. Like look at this bendy like. It's scary. If you want a kid to play with this, then it's going to rip off the spine really easily. It's kind of scary. The thighs are pretty big, which is good, but then they go skinny at the bottom, and then the, f the feet are way too flat. Tail is really weird. Arms, um, they're like, they have sleeves on them. Like, it looks like he's wearing a sweater kind of thing. But I heard that this uh, figure is supposed to be based off the animatronic of the 84 Godzilla. Uh, that's what I've heard, but yeah. They did a good job on the arms if this is supposed to be 84 animatronic. The hands are pretty weird as well. I mean, they're like, just look at how, look at how they're like, it's kind of weird to me. Anyways, that is number six, the 84 Godzilla. Coming in at number five is the NECA Godzilla 1994. Um, this figure is pretty nice too. Uh, I like it more than the 84. Face kind of bugs me though, like, it's weird. Like the jaw, that's one problem. The jaw is pretty weird. The face, I don't see any... I see a Heisei Godzilla, but I just don't see 94. I love them. The spines are probably the best thing uh, on this figure. Yeah, the spines are probably the best out of... The, like, these are the one of the most best spines NECA has ever done with their Godzillas. Again, the tail is pretty thin, not that big at all. Better than the 84, because I like the tail on this one. It's pretty nice. One problem with this figure and a lot of other people have problems with it is this for me it looks like the Godzilla Unleashed model of 1990's Godzilla in there and the Godzilla Unleashed game for the Wii like if you put it in a position you can see I have the image right here as you can see it looks just the same as the Godzilla Unleashed model I took this picture a while back I actually noticed it and I showed it to Godzilla and he was like, oh yeah, Lewis, you're right, it actually kind of does look like it, so, yeah guys, um, really cool figure, um, but still, it's not one of my favorites at all. Number th four is the NECA Godzilla 2014. I know guys, you guys were pro you guys are probably shocked by this, um, yeah, Godzilla 2014, everyone's favorite NECA Godzilla figure. But for me, it's not one of my favorites NECA Godzilla figures at all. Um, it's a really cool figure though. It's like really accurate at this and stuff, but it's just not one of my favorites. Um, the, the face, it's uh, the head's way too small and then the face kind of looks... But again, I think this is based off some old concept design. The spines are very nice, very nicely done. The tail, that's the best thing NECA's ever done. This tail right here... Is one of probably the best tails NECA's ever done for their Godzillas. Look at how big and thick it is. That like you can actually swing this at some building or something. Um, number four is the NECA Godzilla 2014. Three is the NECA Burning Godzilla. Um, I honestly like this more better or more than the 2014 Godzilla because Burning Godzilla is like my favorite Godzilla suit. Look at this, guys. It's just awesome. I, I, this fits. This mold of 1994 Godzilla actually fits more better with Burning Godzilla. Um, not only, well, only because it's Burning, because it actually looks like Burning Godzilla. Sculpt actually looks like Burning Godzilla. What's odd is that they chose to, um, they chose to put the head as green. Like that's kind of odd. Yeah, you can see the eyes more better now. I brightened up. Look at those eyes, guys. Those are just amazing eyes. NECA did an awesome job on this. Number two is the NECA NES 8-Bit Godzilla. This um, is a pretty awesome figure. I love it more than 84, that's for sure. Look at those spines. They're, th that, this is a, probably a sign that NECA is going to do some 
uh, Showa Godzillas in the future, like 64 and 62. I think they're going to use these kind of spines for 64, because that, that would actually be pretty cool. But the colors on this guy is just amazing. I love the pex, uh, pixels stuff going around his body. You can see that. His tail, again, is pretty short, um, pretty thin, but that's okay because it's an 8-bit Godzilla. It's not really an actual Godzilla suit. Really awesome. Alright, guys, coming in at number one is the one and only King of the Monsters, NECA Godzilla 1954. Um, this figure jumps on any other NECA Godzilla figure um, that has been made. It's just amazing. God, this guy's awesome. Um, which is, but the thing I have, the only, I'm gonna list the problems I have with this guy first, is that you can't make him look up at all, like, um, one other problem is that this scares me right here, look at this, that kind of scares me a lot, um, but that's only the only problems I have, oh, and other thing, one thing is that the tail is like, look at how it's, it's so small and short, but it's actually like, an, it's actually pretty nice, because you can actually make him look like he's swimming underwater, the face is just probably the best part, and the spines. The spines and the face are probably the best part about this figure. You can see those teeth in there, they're very nicely sculpted. They're probably the best teeth that guy's ever done for their Godzillas. The spines are amazing, just look at those spines. Very awesome spines. So yeah guys, if you guys see this at Toys R Us or your comic book store, I recommend you guys pick this guy up, because this guy is the best NECA figure in my opinion uh, for Godzillas. But still, we haven't seen what NECA has in store for us next, so, yeah. Alright guys, so that was my top six favorite NECA Godzilla figures. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, stay tuned for Godzilla Rise of Destruction, that should be coming out soon. And also, stay tuned for a uh, kaiju battle with uh, prehistoric dinosaur and god of monsters. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to subscribe, like, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.